if you want a VLAN for guest internet, for corporate, for coffee machines even, trunk port can carry the information of multiple VLANs on the single link. That's the whole purpose of, uh, of trunk ports, AKA tagged ports. It will take me one hour to a setup where there will be a doctor waiting for me there to do the migration and she will test while I'm there. So I don't need to come back the next day for hyper. What the hell is that? Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is John and I'm a junior network engineer based in Copenhagen, Denmark. In today's video, I'm excited to bring you guys along to Sweden where we'll be taking part in a huge infrastructure project. Falk strategically acquired a Swedish healthcare company known as Previa. Previa is a household name with over 120 clinics across Sweden. For this project, we'll only be interested in integrating 90-ish of those clinics into our network infrastructure. I'll tell you a bit more about the project for now. Let's hit the road. First thing I needed to do was to pick up a car in Malmo and fill up the car with all my boxes for the week. This week, I have six migrations and now I have just arrived in Kalma on the eastern coast of Sweden. Morning. In case you were wondering, no, I'm not going to 90 clinics. We are a team of six that are performing these uh, integrations. Kalma is my ninth location. Now, in preparation for this project, we ran into some interesting things like this special, what they call Ericsson proprietary racks. These racks were not built for IT equipment, but rather for telephone crosses. So they need these special nuts, bolts, and metal plates. Now this project is much, much simpler than Norway last year in the sense that I only have to install a new SD-WAN router. And when the router is online, you should see this redirect successfully and then, and then we can onboard in SD-WAN. After pushing a template, we often lose our IP address, but rebooting the ISP router fixes that. I'm out of Calva, got some McDonald's as usual. And the next day, I headed to Oscar Sham. Shoo. Shoo. Oscar Sham happens to be one of those clinics that has not Meraki but regular old 2960s. So, same drill install SD1 router, get the new IPs, and test. Before I could get to work, I got a call from Kalma. Yes. Hi, Diana. Yes, yes. Ah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, is there hmm, is there anyone who manages the cameras for you? Okay. 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 He, okay. He needs to tell us which ports on the switch that the cameras are. Hi. Um. Are the are the cameras? Do they just need an internet connection, or what is the? How are they connected? Okay, uh, so so is how many cameras are there? Uh, two. two. Are they connected with cable with Ethernet cable to the to yes. the switch or Wi-Fi? Uh, we have the switch here. Uh, so we have one uh, port uh, from your switch to ours. Oh, okay. I, I didn't see that. Okay, can you tell me which port on our switch, the Meraki switch, uh, your switch is yes. connected to? For this side, I brought an old SD WAN router and it needed to be reset. This is the command to reset it, and once you've hit the command, it goes through a long reboot phase. As I explained earlier, when we move the connection from the switches to our SD1 router, everything on the LAN receives a new IP address. The addresses, so will all the clients on the LAN. So I go ahead and reboot the printers. Typically, typically we have a Konica printer and a Zebra label printer. I update the Zebra uh, Konica printer in the SafeQ portal and do the same for the Zebra printer in a different uh, portal. All done. And the next day, I'm headed down to New Bro. For others to the most door in North Tyson a Bukas. New Bro is a very small clinic with, I think, only two doctors. So it was a very quick and fast uh, migration. I slept in New Bro, and the next morning was a really, really big day because I had three migrations two in Gothenburg and one in Oseda. It's so beautiful. This is the house. Um, 
I just booked online and the guy gave me a code and I punched in the code and I walked into my room. It's a shared room, uh, multiple rooms, so it's like an apartment. So, anyways, right now I'm headed to Oseda. I have, no, oh, I've staged the router for Oseda, so it's ready because I don't have time. I have to drive three hours to Gothenburg. Now, I would, it will take me one hour to Oseda where there will be a doctor waiting for me there to do the migration and she will test while I'm there. So I don't need to come back the next day for hyper. Hell is that? I think it's time to go get some coffee and then I'll hit the road to a set up. Uh. Coffee and cookie secured. Now I'm on my way to a set up. Realistically, these cities are not far apart, but there's lots of speed limits. If you ever wondered what I'm doing when I'm driving, I'm just listening to chill jams and sometimes rapping. I'ma hit the ground running. I'm starting from nothing. I'm stopping for nothing. My music loud, the speakers bumping, slowly turning to a monster. Trying to reconnect, bitch don't even bother. Words to my father and my mother. Surviving tough times and getting my shit together. There is no better alternative. I fall in love and I guess this is like the Hi, morning. Yeah, you must be Sabina. Yeah. Hey. Nice to meet very, you. Very cool, man. Yeah, I mean, that's great. So that's uh, I'm, I'm not too good in English, but, but I think we, we, I think we, we, we will agree. find a balance. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Uh, in here. Uh, it is uh, quite new, everything here. Yeah. Because it's only two months that we put in uh, new everything switch. Here. Okay. Um, yes. Because we had it in the. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. 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 And now it is because we were there last time. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. We, it, we, it, we, it, we it should be fine. Yeah. It should be fine. How did you work? Thank you. I work. Yes. <laughs> it's a 4G router, and uh, that's all they have here with a 24 uh, port Meraki switch. And then make sure she's on the right VLAN and she, it's not a trunk port and all those things, please. No, it's not a trunk port. Okay. Hello, John. Hi, Diana. Um, how's it going now? It's working now. Okay. So, so right now the switch is picking up an IP address from the guest VLAN, which doesn't make any sense. The switch was picking up a wrong IP address and they suggested to reboot. That did not help. As we later found out, there was no DHCP scope created for this site. So that was swiftly done and we fixed that. When you're connecting a router to a switch, uh, sorry, a router to a switch or a switch to another switch, that link, this cable here, these ports are configured as trunk ports, trunk ports, AKA tagged ports. Each packet is tagged with a VLAN uh, uh, ID and trunk ports can carry multiple VLANs. So if you want a VLAN for guest internet, for corporate, for coffee machines even, trunk port can carry the information of multiple VLANs on the single link. That's the whole purpose of, uh, of trunk ports, aka tagged ports. Okay, I'm online. Everything was good here. The Zebra printer is standalone, so no need to do anything. I just uh, updated the Konica's IP address. Yeah. Yeah. It was so slow. It, it's slow yeah, and the, and the way to Jessica is not I should go now. <laughs> so I'm there because yeah, yeah. I'm, I need to be there on time. Yeah. A little bit of sunshine coming in. Just got Red Bull. Red Bull, vanilla buns, and uh, gummy bears. That should keep me awake. And an apple. Okay. 
according to the agreement or appointment, I'm supposed to be there at 15.30 in Gothenburg. Yes, uh, yeah, in the B, B port, yes. Wait, wait, are there more specific instructions that I may have missed? Uh, for what? Okay. Yes, yes, with my car, yes. Yeah, group trucks, uh, the first building after the B gate. Oh, I see you. Did you just get down from the car? Yeah. Yeah, to your right. <laughs> right? Okay. okay. She says I should follow her. Oh. usual, first thing I do is patch our SD1 router to the internet port on the provider. In preparation for these two Volvo clinics, I already staged these routers, so things happened much quicker ios was already updated everything was good so i just did the usual and it was so quick less than an hour i think about 45 minutes i was done and i was out services are up such a nice little compound campus they have here i'm going to south nora and as you can see previous the former company name so i've arrived at the sixth and last uh, clinic of the week and i got some coffee and waited for the technician to come open the server room for me our one Meraki switch and then our router here. Both links are up. Everything iOS updated and I mounted this uh, PDU. So all is good. I know some of you will have comments about the cabling. I'm expecting them. <laughs> and that concludes a really long week. Six sites done, including these two Volvo. <coughs> clinics I think all in all I've done maybe 14 sites now maybe less I think about 14 more to go so keep in touch thanks for watching this video and see you on the next one hi hi when I was done with the last clinic, I drove about 45 minutes up north to visit my brother who also happens to live in Sweden in a cute little town called Trollhattan. Say hi to my YouTube. Hey, I'm John's brother, the most <laughs> annoying one ever, but I'm the best. Yeah, yeah wearing red for YouTube. Oh, hey, we. How's going on YouTube? <laughs> <Where's> <laughs>